With a 21-game winning streak on the line, Everett gets its biggest test of the season. Hi everyone, welcome inside the ECTV studio here in Everett. I'm your host of Talk of the Town Sports Edition, Michelle Fenelon. First year coach Taylor St. Pierre has been vocal about Everett's tough schedule this season, and he didn't stop on Friday. How many teams go from Severian to Mansfield to Prep? Let me a team. Nobody. Only Everett. In the home opener against St. John's Prep, things didn't come easy for the Crimson Tide. Let's head to the first quarter. A shaky start for sophomore QB Duke Dorothy. He throws two interceptions in the first quarter, but Everett's defense forces a three and out after both turnovers to keep the game scoreless midway through the first. Late in the quarter, third and five, Dorothy finds Eli August, who beats his man down the sideline for a 54-yard touchdown pass. We head to the second quarter now, tied 7-7 after Prep answers with the score. Dorothy hits Isaac Seed for a seven-yard touchdown pass to put Everett up 14-7. Now, under seven minutes to play before the half, Everett up 14-7. Dorothy again with another touchdown pass, this one to Tyrese Baptiste to give Everett a 20-7 lead at the break after a missed PAT. Dorothy answers his turnovers with three touchdown passes to three different receivers. Offensive coordinator Rinaldi Odette praised his young QB for his poise. That's why he's a starting quarterback. He's a tough kid. Um, we'll go ahead and watch the film. We'll see what the mistakes he made. But it's first largely to start. So um, this was a tough team. Like, you got to tip your hats off to those guys. Those guys had a great plan. And we're going to go ahead and execute next time we see him. On to the second half now. Matt Crowley finds Anthony Fagan for a 15-yard touchdown pass to turn Everett's lead 20-14. But the Eagles wouldn't score again as Everett holds on to win this one, 26-14. Despite the penalties and turnovers, Coach Pierce says he's pleased with the way his team came together against a tough opponent. I'm happy we got the W, but I'm very happy how we came together at the end, and that, that builds team chemistry a lot. This was a player player of atmosphere. You know what I'm saying this was a player play of atmosphere. That's what we need, competition. You get competition in the regular season, hey, it only helps you in the long run. Everett gets a break from ranked teams when it faces a winless Lawrence team on the road this weekend. Odette's brother Randy Odette is the head coach for Lawrence, and Ronaldo Odette said they talked about the game in the offseason and a win against his brother would make Thanksgiving a little bit better. That's all we have for Talk of the Town Sports Edition. I'm your host, Michelle Fenelon, and as always, thanks for watching.